Um, so I just did my first workout in three days. I haven't worked out since Tuesday, and it's Saturday today. Um, I did P90X plyometrics, 58 minutes of plyometrics. I burned 582 calories, and I feel great, and I'm so excited to be back in this. And I've also uh, tracked everything I've eaten so far today on my fitness pal, because that's another thing I um, was really slacking on this last week. I wasn't tracking what I was eating, um, but so far today I'm on point because I set my status on my fitness pal this morning and I said my promise to all of my my fitness pal friends is that I will complete my diary every single day for at least the next two weeks the good the bad the ugly but it's all gonna be good right hey guys um, okay so I just did my workout finished my workout today I did plyometrics again two days in a row seems kind of crazy but that's what I wanted to do. I felt like doing P90X plyometrics again today, so that's what I did. Uh, 530 calories burned, um, and I feel good. My food's been so perfect today, and I'm just like right back in the right frame of mind that I need to be in, so I'm really, really excited. <laughs> hey guys, my daughter's making fun of me. As soon as I turned my camera on, and point it to me. She's like, hi guys. <laughs> I guess that's what I always say. Yeah. Anyways, um, we just got back. It's uh, Monday. We just got back from a walk. We were out for about an hour and a half. We stopped at the playground and stuff too. And uh, we got 7,946 steps. And that's pretty much all from the walk because I think I was only at like 800 and some before I went for that walk. So yeah, 7,100 steps in my walk it was 3.58 miles so yeah and look look ah, I got the big flower all right I just got back from a run um, it's still Monday uh, so I just ran 5.12 kilometers I burned 407 calories I'm not sure if you can see that but if you follow me on Instagram I'm gonna post a picture of it um, my legs are killing me. <sighs> I feel nauseous. I feel like I'm gonna throw up, but otherwise I feel great. Um, I was like debating going for a run or doing uh, Kempo, the P90X Kempo workout tonight, and then I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go for a run because um, tomorrow morning I might do Kempo or something. So, anyways, and I won't be able to go for a run in the morning because my daughter will be home and my husband will be at work, so I can't take her because I don't have a jogging stroller. Anyways, and I have to show you this too because because I went for my long walk today and then, well it wasn't super long, I was up for like an hour and a half, and then this run, I got 15,557 steps so far today, or 571 steps. And I just love to see my big flower. <laughs> so the Fitbit is totally motivating. Um, so anyways, I feel great, I'm really glad I did that. Um, another five kilometers. I did not stop to walk at all. Um, basically, I just walk for, like, I start my, my Garmin. I start it as soon as I get out the door. Um, but I don't start running till I get across the street. So I'm usually, I think, about maybe a minute in before I start running. And then um, I run the whole way back. And the only time I stop is if I have to stop at the, the lights or if there's a train. Um, but, yeah, so... I'm so glad I did that. So, yeah, and I'm, I think there's something else I wanted to say. I don't know, but anyways, I'm back on track. My food was perfect again today. It was perfect yesterday. Um, I'm once again excited and proud to share absolutely everything I'm eating on my my Fitness Pal diary, um, and it's just the greatest feeling ever to be like feeling really good about sharing that with people like it's like I like people looking at my diary when I'm eating really good and I've been eating really good um, so I'm gonna keep this up because <laughs> I'm back in this like a hundred and ten percent okay see you guys all right guys so it is 707 on Tuesday morning and I just finished my workout um, I did P90X Kempo X this morning, burned 411 calories. Yay for early morning workouts. I never do this. <laughs> I feel great. Hey 
Hey guys, okay, it is 6.55 Wednesday morning and I finished my workout. This morning I did the Insanity Plyometric Cardio Circuit. I burned um, 389 calories. It's a 42 minute workout for those who don't know. And if you can't tell, I'm not sure if it's showing up in the camera, but I am soaked. So, great start to a day. Hey guys, okay, it's Thursday um, afternoon. I did my workout. I did a 100s workout, um, which is one that Jess uh, showed or blogged about or whatever like a long time ago. I remember doing this like back in like, I think December or something. But anyways, um, it's a really good workout. Um, but anyways, it, I, it, it was a uh, so about 42 minutes and I burned 430 calories, so I'm really, really happy with that. Um, and man, have I gotten a heck of a lot stronger than the last time I did this workout. Like, I did it like last probably six months ago or something, maybe even longer, but yeah, I'm like noticeably stronger, so many moves. Um, hey guys it's weigh-in day and this is also my change and hot for Halloween video for this week um, last week I didn't make my weigh-in video a change or hot for Halloween video because I was really embarrassed um, about how terrible I did and anytime I go off track I feel really embarrassed about it I don't want to come on here and make a video the last thing I want to do is come on here and tell you guys about how terrible I did um, and report a 4.2 pound gain I don't like doing that um, but I did it anyways and all along I have done that and it's really helped me immensely like to actually be accountable like that to you guys and to actually make myself come on here and do my videos every single week um, it's really helped because I think that if I skipped one week then that opens up that door and if I have a bad week ever I can be like yeah, I'll just skip this week. I don't even have to go on and tell them how it was. But I think it always helps for getting me back on track to tell you guys. Um, so anyways, yeah, last week I gained 4.2 pounds um, in case you missed that video or you forgot or whatever. This week was absolutely perfect. Um, I was within my calories every single day. But not only just within my calories, I ate really well this week. I just made really good food choices. Um, one night for dinner, I made spaghetti squash. And when we do spaghetti squash, I make like a pasta meat sauce for on top of it and, you know, eat it just like it's spaghetti. Um, but I made regular spaghetti for my husband and my daughter as well that night. And I didn't even touch it, was not even tempted by it at all. Um, so... That was really good. I love spaghetti squash. Like, I like it better than regular spaghetti. So, um, and then there were a couple other nights that I made them rice as a side dish, and I didn't touch that rice. I just had like my protein and veggies. So, um, change because <laughs> I normally always, always have carbs with my dinner. Um, but I am definitely, definitely getting to the point where I'm like, you know what? If I can just have protein and veggies, then that's what I'll have um, for dinner. And that's kind of what I'm working towards. So I did that really well. I worked out six days, the last six days straight. I've worked out since Saturday every single day. Um, worked out hard. Good workouts. Um, so I'm really, really proud of that. I've done really good this week, guys. I'm so proud of myself. Um, so I weighed in. Did anybody catch the Office season premiere last night? So funny. It's like my favorite show. I'm sad it's the last season. I'm putting off the way in. Am I building up your excitement? Are you getting so, so excited? Like, are you sitting there screaming at your computer right now? Like, oh my god, just tell me your way in. I guess I always put it in the description box. So you can just <laughs> look down there and see. You probably already know what I'm going to tell you. But anyways. I weighed in this morning at 147.4. That's a loss from last week of 6.9. I can't believe it. Just about 7 pounds in a week. Are you crazy? Um, are you crazy? Are you kidding me? Uh, 
I did gain 4.2 pounds last Friday, so it's not, like, as big. I mean, <laughs> I, like, recorded my weight on my fitness pal, and when you record your weight, if you lose, it says, oh, too fab from fat lost this much this week, she's lost, um, this much in total or whatever. But if you enter your weight and you gain, it doesn't say that. So nobody on my fitness pal necessarily saw that I gained 4.2 pounds last week. Um, so, but this morning, it's like, too fab from fat lost 6.9 pounds this week. She's lost 66.6 pounds total. And people are, like, commenting, like, well, people, there was, like, well, one person's, like, when was the last time you weighed in? How did you lose that much weight? So I, like, kind of explained. I'm, like, well, I gained 4.2 last week. It's not, yeah, like, it still is, like, a, whoa, that's a huge, great loss. Um, But, yeah, crazy, crazy, crazy. I'm so excited. Uh, So I'm in the 140s, and I lost more than 5 pounds, so I kept my promises to you guys from last week. Um, And I'm still going. Like, I am still, like, in this. Just this morning, actually, here's my dirty bowl to prove it. Um... <laughs> I was feeling really hungry this morning. Normally, I don't eat breakfast until like 8, like after 8, because normally I'm not hungry till that time. Um, but this morning, I was feeling so hungry since I woke up. And I just about went and just grabbed, like I was just going to grab like a 5 or 1 bar or something like that. But I was like, no. You know what? It doesn't take that long to make up some sweet eggs. That is my favorite thing at the moment. So I made my, I just made myself half a cup of um, egg whites mixed with cinnamon and a little bit of stevia. Truly Jess's, I think it's like a signature dish. Um, and I put a tablespoon of peanut butter on it. It's like one of my favorites. Super satisfying. Like, and it's low cal. And it's good for you. So um, that's what I did. I was so proud of myself. Like, just little decisions like that are huge. Um, so anyways, I'm so excited because I feel like I'm definitely probably within 20 pounds of my goal weight now. Um, I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, oh, I'm looking thin. Oh, and other exciting news. I am finally in a healthy weight range in my B for my BMI. So excited. I can't believe it. I have been obese on the BMI cal calendar, whatever, BMI chart. I've been obese for almost, like, almost my whole life. And now I'm considered normal. I'm in a healthy weight range. That is crazy. I'm like blown away by that. And my body fat percentage, because my scale does body fat percentage, is 28.6%, which is insane because it used to always be like 40 something. So crazy, right? I should do measurements for you guys. 70 pounds. When I, when I get to 70 or 75 pounds lost, I will do measurements. Maybe 70 because I think my goal weight will be around 80. Anyways, stay tuned for that. So anyways, I hope everybody had a really wonderful week last week. Um, oh, P.S. See my beautiful long hair? I don't know if you can... Ooh. That's how I used to look. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyways, um, I don't know if you can tell how long it is, but it's really long. I'm going to get it cut tomorrow. I'm going to get probably about this much cut off. So bye-bye, hair. Bye-bye. And I'm going to get side bangs. So next time you guys see me, I'm going to look a little bit different. But I'm excited. My my best friend's been trying to convince me to, to cut my hair off for a while. I've wanted to. Um, and she's been trying to push me in that direction. And then another friend of mine just cut her hair as well and looks really, really good. And so I'm like, I should do this because... I look like a whole new person. Like, my body is totally different than it's ever been, right? Like, I have a whole new body. And mentally, physically, emotionally, I have grown and changed so much in the last year. And so, why don't I change my hair too, right? New hair, new body, new me. We'll see. So hopefully it looks good. Um, yeah, I hope everybody has a great week and I will see you guys soon.